David Brewster here with another episode of Chord Play, and this is the Chords of Rat. And of course, uh, Rat's a very famous you know, band from the 80s and the early 90s. Uh, Warren D. Martini and Robin Crosby, of course, uh, the guitarist in Rat. And uh, Robin sadly passed away, so I don't want this to be a sad episode of Chord Play, but we are going to pay tribute to Robin Crosby and some of the cool ideas that he kind of unleashed in uh, Rat's music. So here we go. The opening that was from the song Back For More and uh, there's a really cool, you know, kind of uh, series of chords, you know, hiding in that song. So it starts off with an A power chord, whether it's the acoustic guitar or the electric, it's pretty much the same. And that's just basically like an A sus2 back to that A power chord. an F over A right there. So we're just kind of moving that E up to F. And the F's going to go up to an F sharp. And then eventually it's going to go to a G add 9, which we're going to play like that. So we have this little movement, you know, in the D string. And that's really common, especially in a lot of 80s, you know, hard rock and metal. already hit you know a few songs in chord play that kind of dance around you know some of those ideas but right there we're just kind of moving up and then right there it's a partial G into a partial A and then you're right back in that A again this interesting little network of chords that kind of, uh, you know, is unveiled. And uh, Rat is notorious for that. So uh, hang on, because we're going to find some more songs and riffs, you know, that are kind of dancing around some of these chords. One thing you'll definitely gain from working on, you know, some of Rat's music is aggression. You know, they have this kind of conviction and authority with everything that they played. And, um, it's good to kind of tap into some of that attitude, you know, hitting the strings a little harder, digging in, you know, when you're fretting a little bit harder. And uh, it just kind of gives everything that you play, you know, this kind of attitude, you know, this kind of, you know, uh, I'm going to kick your ass, you know, kind of attitude. So, uh, you know, take a song like Wanted Man and you've got this E power chord. And then it really just kind of moves down these partial chords, you know, a partial E, a partial D, a partial A to a partial C. And there you can see we're just playing, you know, an E power chord. And then it's a partial E partial D, partial A, partial C, and then go right back to that E power chord again, and then it's a partial E to a partial G. You just think of like that 70s chord right there, and you can hit that G, and then to the A, to the C. into the verse and you've got this A minor add 9 which I love you know that chord uh, G major 6 over A and then a B minor 11 over A and then just some you know a G power chord to an A <laughs> song and it's hiding all these really cool chords too. All right, the next riff's from the song The Morning After, which is from uh, Out of the Cellar, kind of a hidden gem or a, you know, a lost lost cut. And uh, he's basically kind of moving back and forth between a, an E sus4 to E major. 
And then there's this really cool uh, kind of G to a G flat five or a G five to a G flat five, and then uh, an A sus four to A seven, and it's kind of a busy riff. <laughs> simple but uh, but it's rocking <laughs> Speaking of rock and uh, you know the song Round and Round, definitely you know probably Rat's most famous song, and uh, the chord pattern you know in this main riff is interesting because uh, you know Robin kind of tapped into all these you know extensions and different versions of chords, so it sounds like this. <laughs> basically a D sus4 to D major so there's a lot happening just right there you know right out of the gate and then you're basically moving down to the C power chord but there's a sharp 11 right there which is really cool and then a D sus4 and then an E sus4 a really interesting you know sequence of chords because uh, you know Robin definitely penned that song that riff um, and you can find all these little twists and turns you know in those chords which is so cool you know it's a melodic pattern but it's made primarily of chords which is kind of unusual <laughs> Also in the same song, uh, there's kind of this interesting little tag in uh, the pre-chorus where there's a A add 9 to a B add 11 and it's played like this. Um, <laughs> chorus and I just really like you know those chords you know it sounds it sounds really interesting and, and it just you know grabs your attention speaking of grabbing attention uh, you know rat notoriously had you know all these cool riffs and rhythms and intros and of course Warren's guitar solos are amazing but there was something just primal and uh, full of energy, you know, surrounding Robin Crosby. And even just simple power chord riffs, and, um, you know, just kind of had this extra magic or this little extra, you know, aggression. You know, take a riff like You're in Love. Um, <laughs> power chord the E the C and then A the C and then there's like a sus4 you know kind of hiding in there uh, and eventually it moves down to that B flat power chord too before it moves back into your in love you know like the main riff 
And of course we're in drop D right there too. But there's just something pummeling and aggressive, you know, about that riff. It just demands attention, you know. <laughs> example here is from uh, Lay It Down, which is definitely, uh, I think, one of Rat's, you know, big, uh, big hits. And it's also a very common request I've had from students, you know, that wanted to learn some Rat. And everybody wants to learn Lay It Down. You know, everybody wants to learn Round and Round and Lay It Down. It seems like those are the two. But uh, we're still in drop D. We're definitely still playing with uh, sus chords, you know, kind of Van Halen style. But then Robin found this really cool extension where he's basically coming out of, you know, D, D sus4, and then it kind of goes to like an, you know, an add nine right here. But then he's gonna shift that up an extra fret to where it's a B flat over D. And there's a big stretch right there. So be, you know, forewarned, uh, Lay It Down has a nasty stretch hiding. It only happens just for a second. Um, and then it's gonna move into kind of like a C over E goes back into D again. Um, so it's something like this. And you can see right there we're basically playing that D sus4. Right there, we're sliding into that B flat. And then right there, there's the E, uh, the C over E. So it's a tough little riff, and of course, it climbs up that uh, you know the drop D power chord uh, riff there. That's going to wrap this look at the chords of rat, so leave some feedback and some comments, and I'll be back with some more lessons and material very soon. Thank you.